Today's Bible study is titled, But Now. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets, even the righteousness of God which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe. For there is no difference, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Romans 3, 21 24 Key JV. Most Christians, upon reading these verses, immediately focus on, for all have sinned and come short, and this is very, very true. The only problem is that many seem to focus on this truth to the exclusion of the context in which it was written, namely, but now, believer, don t miss the but nows or but gods of the scripture, for if you miss these you will likely miss the foundational message in what is being addressed today, but now, as measured in time of necessity, must be contrasted with in time past, a good example of this is Ephesians 2, 2 4 which contrasts wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world with but god who is rich in mercy with this in mind let's break down everything under this but now of romans 3 21 24 in verse 21 we learn that instead of what was in time past the righteousness of god without the law the measurer of sin is now manifested and it doesn't ignore the law Rather, the righteousness of God is being witnessed by the law and the prophets. So how is and was this righteousness of God manifested? Continuing in verse 22, the student of the word will observe it is manifested by the faith of Jesus Christ. Please note that unless you study this in the authorized King James Bible, you'll miss this part, and you don't want to miss this part. Example that the manifestation of the righteousness of God was made possible for all them that believe the gospel by the faith of Jesus Christ. The faith of Jesus Christ seems odd to most folks when they first see and hear it, but it speaks to Christ's faithfulness, fidelity, and willingness to die the death of the cross to pay for the sins of the entire world, knowing that his father would raise him from the dead. Other so-called translations will typically and incorrectly render this the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all those who believe, but there is a big difference between our faith in Christ and the faith of Christ. Our faith is only possible as we respond to his faith and belief of the gospel, his death, burial, and resurrection just as the prophetic scriptures said would happen. The result, and don't miss this, is that this righteousness of God which is by faith of Jesus Christ is balance of verse 22 unto all and upon all them that believe, there is no qualifier for receipt of this righteousness of God other than to believe. It is with this preface that the need for this belief is cited in the continuance of verse 22 and all of verse 23, stating for there is no difference, for all have sinned, and come short of the glory of God and it is the only reason for mentioning such, for the fact of our sin has been dealt with and we have been past tense made righteous through the faith of Jesus Christ and our belief therein of the death, burial, and resurrection. The context thereafter continues, so there will be no misunderstanding just what the topic of the same, stating that, but now we are, Verse 24, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Default text so, the focus of these verses is not our sin. Example, it's not about you, but rather it is about the righteousness of God and how we receive His righteousness by justification through the faith of Jesus Christ in simple belief by grace through faith His faith and ours on that basis. Believer, but now you have been justified freely by the faith of Jesus Christ, live in that reality. Thank you for listening to this Bible study today. Mm -hmm.